Welcome to another video about the Alltrady trading platform. We are proud to announce that the Gridbot has finally arrived. And in this video I will show you how easy it is to set it up. In short, the Gridbot is a bot that will place orders between a lower and an upper price range. Every time a buy order is executed, the bot will place a sell order. And every time a sell order is executed, the bot will place a new buy order. The bot will continue to do this as long as the price stays between the lower and upper price range. The bot can also follow prices up, so if your bot moves out of the upper price, the grid will slowly follow along and adjust the buy orders. It can also follow it on the way down and it will adjust the sell orders. So how do you set it up? If you go over to the bot sections right here, then you can click on create bot. You will now see a pop-up where you can select the grid bot as an option. On the right side you will see the form. Here you can give your bot a name. Then you select the exchange you want to use. We currently only have spot exchanges enabled for the bots. If you have multiple accounts for an exchange, you can select the account here. Now you can select the market from the list. You can use the search function to make it easier to find your market. You can specify the amount you want to invest. You can select to only use the quote currency. Or if you have both available, you can specify to use both. If you only use quote, the bot will buy some of the base currency to be used for the sell orders. If you use the both option, the bot will use the base currency you have for all the sell orders. If you don't have enough of the base currency, the quote currency will be used to buy the difference. The buy is placed with a limit order that is 1% above the current ask price. This will ensure the bot starts with the best available price. Next you select your upper price range, and then your lower price range. Next you specify how many orders should be used in the grid. You will see the orders drawn on the chart. As you can see you may be missing an order here, but this is the trade free zone. It ensures the price can make small movements within your grid lines without losing money on the trading fees. If you want to enable trailing up, you can enable that here. And if you want to enable trailing down, you can enable that here. Basically your bot is now ready to start. But if you want to specify some exit conditions, you can do that here. You can enable the take profit option, and it will stop the bot as soon as the price is reached. You can specify what to do when the bot stops. You can close all orders and keep the coins, or you can close orders and convert it to quote, in this case USDT. Or you can close the orders and convert it to base, in this case BTC. Then you select the take profit price. You can also use the stop loss price, and it will stop the bot as soon as the stop price is reached. It has the same options as take profit for stop behavior and price. The last option is to specify a time a bot is allowed to run. So if you only want your bot to run for 3 days, you can specify that like so. Now you can confirm the bot settings. Here you will see how much will be bought on the start of the bot. If you click confirm the initial order will be placed. As soon as your order is filled the grid bot will start. You can see that right here. So that's how easy it is to start a grid bot. You can view the status of your bot by clicking on it. On the overview page you will see the stats. We will add more stats in the near future, along with the backtest feature, so please stay tuned for the updates.